Hey guys, it's Julie with Julie's Designs. This is a DIY for resale video where I show you everything that I worked on this week. I will put a before picture up if I have one and I'll tell you what I paid for it and what I plan on selling it for. I sell locally out my house so I don't ship or have a booth. Um, but I get lots of custom orders, so that's a lot of what this is. And then I also thrift and flip a lot of stuff, which you already know if you've watched my thrift flip video. So I am surrounded by my stuff. Let's just go ahead and grab stuff. Um, a few things are from my latest haul videos. Y'all remember these? They were like that cherry wood color. And actually my neighbor bought these. She's like, um... You need to paint those and I want them. And she bought one of those Sea Life garlands, which I found out was a mushroom garland. <laughs> I put it out in the YouTube universe, but yeah, she loved it. You know, sometimes you just gotta show people what to do with it. So these are for her and I paid $5 each for them and I'm gonna sell them $35 for the set. I feel like that's a really good price. You know, I always take care of my neighbors. These are huge and absolutely gorgeous. I just simply um, sprayed them white with chalk paint on my sprayer and then distressed them slightly. I just kind of distressed the edges. I don't like anything overly distressed. Just a little bit. Those are super cute. And then this is also a custom order. So this customer wanted an embroidery hoop with a pocket. I have a whole video on these. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that. If I have a video specifically showing you how to do something, I will put it in the description below. So if you absolutely love this and you wanna go watch that video and see a step-by-step -step tutorial, I have it for you. So she wanted the oval one, she wanted a pocket, and she wanted to say welcome. So I used the IOD swoosh stamp here, and this is so cute. I actually think she's gonna put it on her door, she said. Oh, so that was, oh, I have some for me. This is for the boys' bathroom. So I ordered this toilet paper holder off of Amazon, and I went to put it up, and I'm like, I just, it doesn't look substantial enough. The last one came out the wall. I felt like putting one back right there just wasn't gonna be a good thing. You know, boys, they just do not take care of anything. So I decided to make like a little cypress shelf. It is super thick. So hopefully they don't destroy this. And then I put these little L brackets just for extra stability. So this whole entire thing is going to go on the wall. So this was, I think I told y'all, this was like $12 on Amazon. And I feel like if I sold this, it would probably be $35 to $40. I don't know if y'all looked at what toilet paper holders cost lately, but they are expensive. So yeah, I just totally DIY'd my own cool thing. And they'll have a cute little shelf that hopefully I can put stuff on. And um, I just sealed this with a coat of wax because, you know, it's going in the boys' bathroom. <laughs> Okay, the, this is a back to a ladder. I mean, no, it's a back to a chair. The chairs I actually had in here that went with the table I bought, I didn't want them anymore, so I've been cutting them up and making stuff out of them because I can make more money that way. Um, but I have a lot of them and I'm ready to get stuff out the door. So I thought it kind of looked cool the whole back together. I have taken these off before and made little carriers, which are super cute, but I figured if I could just sell the whole thing together and move it on to somebody else, and that's what I'm gonna try to do. So I haven't posted this yet on my business page, but I'm gonna see like what my customer feedback is. Um, Cause I think I have four more of these that I haven't painted so I can customize them. But I'm thinking it would look cute just hanging on the wall. You could put different tea towels. I think even a hook here in a bathroom to put like a big towel and then a wreath up here will look good or just simply on the wall with a wreath. I feel like there's a lot of options for this. So I just got one finished up and I'm gonna show it to my customers and let them know how I would use it and see what their response is and if they want to get more. And if not, then I'll just cut them up and turn up these into little carrier handles because that's so well. And I'm going to sell this just for $25 because like I said, I just want it out the door. I want to get stuff finished up and done. 
on that note, this is the last of these bricks. So I think it was two years ago, they were tearing down a house on Main Street and I went dumpster diving. They had a ton of bricks. These are like 100 year old clay bricks. They are beautiful. I spray them with a coat of white and distress some of that beautiful brick back. And they are sealed with Mod Podge because they're clay bricks. I want them to stay together. So I figured Mod Podge, you know, is a glue and a sealer and would be great. So this one says welcome. I love these. I have this one in my house. I have this one in my house. And then I have a video showing you how to make bookends out of these and I have those in my house. This has been like one of my most favorite things that I've ever made. It definitely hasn't been one of my best sellers, but I don't care. I love it. So this one says home sweet home and I have it, I have two in, on my entertainment center and I have one by my front door. I just feel like it works anywhere. You can put it in your landscaping. And then this one was like super rough and super textured. So I decided to stamp instead of hand paint it. And I just uh, sand the area code. And how cute would this be at somebody's front door, even in their landscaping? I love this. Do y'all like this? I don't know. Most of the time, stuff I like, other people love. But I was very shocked that the bricks didn't sell as good as I thought they would. Because I just loved it so much. But you just never know what people are going to like. And that's why, if you can, like, I don't know how people are going to feel about this. So if you can make just one of them and get feedback, then let your customers know what they want instead of spending all your time making all this stuff because you love it so much and then nobody else wants it. <laughs> That's not what we're here for unless you're making stuff for yourself. Okay, this teapot is going to be $12. I think I paid a dollar for it and I recently made this on a video. I did the cement texture look, white wax, and then I stamped tea on it. And then the duck was also on the same video. This one's going to be $15, and if it doesn't sell, I'm not mad about it because I'm keeping it. And I also did this little bird on that same video, but I am keeping this one because this is a perfect size to stage with. So if you are looking to make your pieces like better staging better get some like little figurines that you can just add in there that looks so cute but i'm just oh y'all i just love how this duck came out i'm gonna have to go back to the thrift store because they had like a whole shelf of ducks and i did not not realize it was gonna look this amazing i mean i need some more ducks this is so cute he needs a friend and this is for me as well this is was a tarnished silver tray that I put the baking soda and paint mixture on and then white wax. I made sure the entire thing was done because I sold every single one I made like this, but they are so perfect for staging. Another great thing that's staging for staging. So I can put it this way or I can put it this way and it just looks really good in pictures just to kind of lift stuff up. So I'm trying to, since my stash is kind of dwindling down, I'm trying to keep a few things for myself to use for staging because you know staging always helps things sell. Okay, this book set. My customers love this so much. I made five of them. Three of them have already gone on to their new home. So these are the only ones that I have left. These are so, so cute. Such good sellers, something easy to do. You put on your favorite Netflix show and you just sit and you make some of these. And I also have a video on how to do this. Forgot to mention that. I also have a video on how to do this. So don't forget if you want a step-by-step -step tutorial, I'll put all those links in the description below. I think this was on my last thrift haul, this um, little riser tray. So I just painted it white and then I just stressed back some of that dark metal. So that dark metal that used to be in a few years ago, now it's all at the thrift stores, but it looks so get, so great. Paint it white and distressed. I'm gonna sell this piece for $18 and I think I paid $3 for the tray.
I like how this one came out. I like the size of it, that it's long and skinny. I feel like that makes it useful in a lot of different areas. Sorry, that was a little loud. Y'all, I continue to sell so many of these little risers. So I had an order for two of them. She wanted one white with natural feet, and then she wanted one natural with white feet. I sell these for $20 each, and they I use free materials. So it just... I just charge my time to make these and they sell so well if you're not making risers you need to be they sell so good they are also really good for staging i feel like i need to do i've been getting lots of questions about staging would y'all like me to do maybe like tips and tricks to staging items so i feel like i get that question a lot it is something that I feel like I'm good at. So if y'all wanted me to do a video on that, I think I could. Okay, I love this. Look, this is a custom order. I love it. It seems like it'd be something simple to do. You just put some oysters in a jar and then some granary, but not for my little OCD butt. I am like making sure every oyster looks good exactly where I put it. So yeah. I just like overthink it way too much, but the final product is so, so pretty. I need to find some more of these jars. I actually want one for myself, but on the shelf that I want to put it on, this is too big. So I'm hoping I can find like a tall, skinny vase that I could put some oysters and some of this lambs here. And then I put a little jute twine at the top. So, so perfect. I sell these for $35 and I can sell this kind of stuff all day, every day. Like, this is so coastal, farmhouse, beachy, like just so many different styles. I love this. I like everything because I made it, right? <laughs> but I would say especially the books and that little oyster thing. I really like that. This was a custom order. I actually made this sign for myself. It is right behind us outside. So a customer came to my house and picked up her stuff and she's like, um, I need you to make a sign like that for me. So this sign is $35. It was a custom order, it's hand painted. Um, I use fence boards to make this and it is sealed because I know it's going outside. It looks so good on stucco. So pretty. Y'all, these also have been selling like crazy. If you have not made these yet, I'll put the link to the video they are selling so good i actually have a whole bunch of them halfway done that i need to finish so maybe that'll be on the next diy for resale video because i think i'm doing a pop-up show next week next weekend and it's gonna be people's gonna be buying stuff for mother's day which is the following weekend so i'm trying to get a bunch of like 20 dollars and under items stuff that people could just pick up but they have been loving this so what it is is just a piece of wood and then it's a piece of drop cloth and then it's also a piece of lace and then you could put mail you could put floral you could put whatever just it's cute it's cute and my customers are loving it if my customers are loving it your customers are probably love it so that is something easy that you can keep at a low price point oh I didn't tell y'all the price. So the bigger one is 20 and the smaller one is 16. And I added two dollars because of the lace because it takes a little bit more material and time. So if they just wanted a plain draw cloth one, that was $14. And then for the bigger one, it was $18. So if you're putting more material and more time, make sure you are charging more for these. This was on a recent haul too. Y'all remember this cute little magazine rack it had this rattan stuff right here i just painted it white and distressed it it did take a little while because this little thing had a lot of bleed through so if you are having bleed through you need to make sure you have like a spray sealer i use rust-oleum and you spray that on there let it dry and then you put your paint over it and that takes care of the bleed through but doesn't it seem like you do that and then another spot just pops up somewhere else? So that's how this one was. But I conquered it and it's so cute. I'm going to sell this for probably $37. That, those always sell. Always sell. Somebody's going to watch this video and I'm going to get a phone call. And be like, they're going to say, that's mine. Put it on the side for me. That's what always happens. 
my very loyal local customers know to watch my YouTube videos to get first DMs at all the good stuff. Okay, this is very random because it is April, but I got an order for a oh, Christmas box. So pretend I'm the Christmas tree and this is my box. And she actually ordered it a few months ago after Christmas, probably because her sister had got one for me this year for Christmas. And she saw it and she was like, um, I need one of those too. But uh, it's been on my list for a while and I'm trying to get my list, my order list down to zero. So I went ahead and made it even though it's not for Christmas next year. I sell these for $40. I do have a video on making these. And this is also something that sells really great around Christmas time and I all, she didn't want hers customized but I also even offer customization right here if they want to put their last name or Merry Christmas or whatever. I personally just like it plain and then I put like a decorative blanket in it and then my Christmas tree and that looks really good. But that is it. That is everything that I worked on this week. That was a lot. But like I said, I might have another one of these videos next week because I'm hoping to do a pop-up shop and continue to get a lot of stuff done. I think the only things I have left on my order list are breadboards, but I like to do that all at one time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just mark out one day next week just to spend on breadboards all day. Those little breadboards that I attach the spindle to it. Yeah, people have been going crazy over those, so I need to spend a day making breadboards and get some more. If y'all getting ready for Mother's Day too, try to find like $20, $15, something in that price range for people just to grab and pick up for their mamas. All right, guys, if these are the kind of videos you like, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I do lots of videos where I show you exactly how to make this stuff. If you have any questions, make sure you check the description box below because I do try to put links to all the videos to answer all of y'all questions. Y'all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all in the next video. Give this video a big